Let's get to it, right? So what's interesting about that reference point you just said, 2006, that's exactly what the charts did as well. First, relative performance. Uh, it's an important part of all investing, and it's incontestable. This is simply a table of three-month percent change. ITB, XHB, the market, right? So depending on the constituents and how you weight them, either way, housing has been much better than the overall equity market. Let's look at some charts. You referenced 2005, 2006. What's so remarkable, of course, is that the all-time housing peak, and then we exceeded it, and we've checked back to it. And we are sitting right here on that line. And it's holding. And so the here and now charts are very important, and you'll see that next. After going well above the housing peak, we are in this downtrend. Now, the downtrend from the peak, remember, housing uh, topped in December, market topped in January, down 40 percent, S&P down 25, more, in fact, than the, the QQQ. And what we have now, and it's very clear here, is we've been up against this line, and we've touched it, and we've touched it, and we've touched it, and we're there again. And this time, however, after the 40 percent decline, I think it's up and out. We're going to break out. So another way to look at it is with a channel. And like a sort of a pinball machine, we have been inside the channel perfectly. And you know what? Again, I think it's green arrow time. And finally, a big stock that's housing related, Home Depot. It's the same setup. And that's what makes it so important. It's a very cohesive group and they're all setting up the same way. The bounce from the low is almost twice that of the S&P for the group. And my thinking again here, let's get that one more time. Green arrow, higher. I like it for more. Well, thank you very much, Carter. We'll see you back here for Options Action in just a few.